Basically, uh, ordered a bucket of the Red Sea Coral Pro. Um, I normally use the reef crystals, so in this video, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, and what I plan to do is test each salt um, and see what kind of results we get back for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. So I've got the I've got some tank water. I'm currently dosing. Aquaforest components one, two, and three, and using reef crystals at the minute. Um, I've then got a sample of freshly mixed Red Sea Coral Pro and a sample of freshly mixed reef crystals. Uh, each one has been mixed up to 1.025. Um, yeah, so I'll cut it here and then just do the test and give the results. So after running through the tests um, for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, um, we have some results. So um, starting with kind of a control with what's running in my tank at the minute, which is reef crystals and dosing with aquaforest component one, two, three. We get an alkalinity of 8.9 dKH, a calcium of 440 ppm, and a magnesium of 1250 ppm. Um, Generally, I'm quite happy with that. Everything seems happy and growing. I tend to aim for around eight to nine dKH, uh, about 440, 450 calcium, and my magnesium is quite low, so I might need to up some dosing there. I tend to strive for around uh, 1,300 ppm, um, but generally quite happy with that. Um, moving on to the Red Sea Coral Pro, there we've got 11.8 dKH, we're getting 450 ppm on calcium, 1410 ppm on magnesium. Um, for this testing, I'm using Salafet test kits, so you know there might be a bit of human error there. Um, but generally speaking, according to the bucket, um, we're looking for a mixed reef of calcium of 450, so spot on. Uh, magnesium around 1350. So a bit high there and also high on what they recommend for SPS frags. Um, the alkalinity is within the stated range. Uh, they're saying around 11.5 dKH uh, to around 12 dKH. So, you know, within that bracket. Next, moving on to reef crystals, which I've been very happy with personally. Um, main reason for swapping over is a lot of people say that the um, Red Sea Black Bucket is really, really good. Um, and the Reef Crystals does leave my salt mixing bucket, it, it stains it, uh, you get like a kind of brown sludge kind of um, material at the end, which doesn't bother me too much, but you know, if, if it's one less thing I have to maintain, then that's great. Um, but the Reef Crystal results, we've got 10.9 dKH, 450 uh, calcium, and 1260 ppm on magnesium, which is pretty good. And again, is, is pretty much the same as what we've got for the tank um, water itself. Uh, so overall, pretty happy. I'm gonna give the Red Sea Coral Pro salt a go. I've tried things like the Aquaforest salt. Um, I used that for a few months was kind of 50-50 on it. Um, reef crystals I've been happy with, so I'm gonna give this a go, and if I'm not happy with this, uh, it'll be the Tropic Marin uh, Pro Reef Sol that I'll go for. Um, but generally, across the board, the Coral Pro looks okay. I've got quite a few SPS frags growing out in there, so um, see what happens. Thanks, um, thanks guys, bye. You're strong. You're strong. Thank you.